All right, welcome back to the Hillman build. This is part four. Uh, this time I'm gonna to try to build some wheels for the first time. Um, yeah, just showing you my experience. Uh, hope you enjoy, cheers. All right, here I am building the wheels. Um, yeah, first time building wheels. So thanks to all the people who gave me advice um, on Instagram, appreciate that. Um, you can see that I was just measuring out the spokes, just trying to get all the same same length for the for the front wheel um, because this is going to help me when I tension the wheel of having um, all the nipples uh, like kind of screwed in the same the same to the same thread um, yes I did that um, I also watched uh, a video or a bunch of videos but the main one I use for this one is uh, from Oz Cycles so I'll leave a link in the description for that but yeah, it's pretty straightforward, just lacing them. Um, didn't really have too much problems. I guess just, yeah, just take your time. Um, I also did grease up each of the, the nipples just to make sure they uh, they move freely. Uh, yeah, and here you can see I did one side. Um, yes, pretty stoked already. It was looking pretty good. Um, yeah. Uh, yeah, so I did the same thing again with, um, yeah, just, the other side, um, pretty straightforward here. Um, I guess it starts to get a little bit more confusing when there's more spokes on the bike, but uh, on the on the wheel. Sorry, but if you take yeah, just take your time. Uh, make sure you just double check. It should be uh, should be no problem. Oh uh, yeah, one other thing to note is just leaving a gap for where the valve hole is. Um, but yeah, if you follow the O Cycles video. Um, it should be pretty straightforward. Yeah, that will give you um, a little a little gap for when you're pumping up your tire, and make it a little bit easier. Um, yeah, and that was it. So, so I did. I laced up the two wheels. Um, I didn't film the other one once again. I thought it'd just be the same thing again. Um, but yeah, pretty hyped on this already. And then now it was time to tension. All right, tensioning the wheels. Um, yeah, basically, this I think this is a little bit trickier than just lacing the wheel. But the way I did it was I basically screwed each nipple in so uh, the thread wasn't showing anymore. And then I started to true, uh, true the wheel after that. Um, here's my kind of ghetto truing stand, fork and some bars uh, for the front wheel. And then I use zip ties and just put them on either side. Um, so what I did was I ended up truing it uh, horizontal first, side to side, um, you know, do the best you can with uh, screwing the nipples um, even turns until you go all the way around. And after you do that, um, you can also seat the spokes. Don't forget to press down. I'm just doing this with one hand, but you can put more pressure. Um, and then after that, uh, truing it horizontally, true it vertically. You can see there's like a little bump there. Um, but yeah, you just keep doing it the best, the best you can. Um, Someone did say on the internet, like, if you're using old spokes and old rims and stuff, you're never going to get 100% true. Um, so, yeah, kind of just do the best you can. Um, you can see it's pretty good uh, horizontally, um, but I think vertical there's this, a little bump. But, yeah, it wasn't, wasn't terrible. And then um, in between drawings, what you do is kind of squeeze squeeze the spokes to get rid of any extra tension and kind of help seat the spokes as well um, yeah you can do this with two hands I was just filming with one hand so you can see how it works but yeah I was, I was doing it on both sides of course um, yeah and then what you do is just true again um, but yeah this is basically the best I could get it um, without spending like tons and tons of time but you know it's pretty close within a millimeter or two so I was pretty happy with that and yeah, the same thing with the back wheel. Um, you can see the back wheel setup was all the way to one side. Um, so <laughs> it took, um, yeah, it just took a little bit more work here. You can see there's a little bit of wobble. But yeah, same deal again here. Just use, uh, use um, zip ties to put on either side. And then, yeah, just tr tr the best you can. Tr um horizontal and then vertically. Oh yeah, with the tension, um, basically as you keep truing it, it's going to get tighter and tighter. 
Um, so if you have a spare set of wheels, kind of feel the tension of that and try to match it and then just try to be even all the way around. All right, and that's it. Uh, yeah, all the wheels are tensioned, um, so they feel pretty tight. I'm kind of excited to ride these to see how they hold up, but yeah, here just putting on the um, rim tape back on and then putting the tube and tie in. Uh, for some reason, yeah, this took me a long time because I think one of the the tubes had a hole in it already and then I had to replace it and then, um, yeah, just the uh, tires weren't going in properly at the beginning, but then I managed to get them to uh, fit properly. Uh, yeah, just ran these 32 uh, white wall tires, uh, just what I had. Um, I don't usually want run white walls, but they don't look too bad. And yeah, that's it. Super stoked with how the wheels turned out. Uh, they turned out super clean. All the rust came off the spokes and the rims, and yeah, can't wait to ride them. All right, that's the video. Uh, yeah, super psyched. Built my first wheels. Um, yeah, it's pretty daunting at the beginning, especially using a... Uh, <laughs> old spokes and stuff but um yeah if you want to give it a try give it a go it's pretty fun it's pretty pretty satisfying um yeah stay tuned for the next one should be up soon cheers